the Deputy Force Public Relations Officer of Nigeria Police. Well, we have a lot of response coming through from people here, but let me briefly ask, is there uh, a standard response time to crime or to distress calls that Nigeria Police is working with or trying to achieve? Yes, um, we are looking at attaining a three minutes response time. Lagos has been, incidentally, Lagos has been one of the Lagos and Abuja, FCT. Um, we've had the best response time in these two areas. The reason, obviously, is because in these two cities, we have, we've had the luck of having better logistics in terms of the number of vehicles, in terms of the number of APCs, and um, this has actually helped. Okay, let me follow up to that. Why is it that uh, most, I mean, the ones that a lot of people see, some look good, but vehicles, after they're given to the Nigeria police, after some time, they look horrible. What's the problem? <laughs> now, now let, let me explain that to you. Uh, oftentimes, people don't really understand the way the police work. If you look at the vehicles in the police, they, they don't go off, they don't stop walking, they don't have time out. Unlike even the policemen that probably walk probably 12 hours or 8 hours and then they, they, they move to the next shift or, or they go home. It's the same vehicle that the morning shift used, that the afternoon shift are going to use, that the night shifts are going to use. So these vehicles are on duty on the road 247, 30 days in a month, 360 something days in a, in, in a year. Unlike your vehicle, you drive it down to Channel's office and you park it here. And probably until you want to send your driver <laughs> to go and get you a meal or something, or when you want to go home, you're not going to get it back into the vehicle. You you know, if, if you look at what happens... Some will say that, you know, that will take a toll on the engine. You know, it will take it, a toll on the engine, but not on the body of takes, the vehicle. It takes a toll on everything. <laughs> it takes a toll on everything, particularly when you look also at the type of road we ply on. And again, in Nigeria... Unfortunately, you're blaming all that dent. Hold on, I mean, hold all on, the bashing with the on on police vehicle hold on, on the road in Nigeria. Unfortunately, or fortunately, the police is seen as the most conspicuous face of government. Whenever there's any problem in this country, whether it has to do with fuel crisis, whether it has to do with student arrest, whether it has to do with somebody being knocked down on the road and, and people are rioting. The, the first agency they vent their anger on is the police. Usually the police patrol vehicles. And so it, it, the, the cumulative effect of all this is that it, it, sometimes you, you find a patrol vehicle that had just responded okay. to... Th there's a fire incident in, in, in a market. The, 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 the firefighters have arrived. The area boys are not allowing them to walk. The okay. police response to, to, to pave right. way for them to walk, the police patrol vehicle is attacked. But so what about maintenance? Work. All these all these takes it What about to... maintenance? I mean, is this something is this something that the police can also caters for? I mean the appearance of the we, police we, we, vehicles. We try, for, we try for to instance. do as much as possible. Let me tell you one thing. If you look at some of the police formations abroad where you see their, their vehicles always glittering, I tell you one thing. They auction their vehicle almost every six months, sometimes maximum one year. People don't seem to know that. Those police formations you've seen out there, they don't use one vehicle for more than one year. All right, Frank, well, we don't have before. the luxury of right. selling off our own we, vehicles after one year. So we use them for seven years. Well, at a time seven. on this one, but if you could do this briefly, Mark do you think that the confidence of Nigerians to the police is increasing such that they will volunteer information? Obviously, if you look at most of our achievements, if you look at most of the recoveries, look at what is happening in Kano. Um, there, there have been two major recoveries. Just but the in, CP in Kano just, was complaining, and I, people are not volunteering information. I, 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 I don't, I don't think so. He's just encouraging more, because even the day, the, the day they intercepted the, 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 the golf car that was laden with explosives, we would, we are not magicians. We're working with people. And as a matter of fact, Scano has been a classical case of uh, a state that has given us so much cooperation, so much in the right. fight against terror. 
Okay, unfortunately, we have to let it go. There's so many questions coming through from uh, those watching this holiday, but we have to uh, thank you for coming on this morning. Frank Obai is the Deputy Force Public Relations Officer of Nigeria Police. Thank you again for coming today. It's always my pleasure being here. All right, then we're back and in coming under the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Join us again. They are worried that the economy of the northern part of Nigeria is education and other social welfare programs has most died significantly, further worsening the standard of living of the citizens. They are convinced that all efforts must be made to bring this group to the table for final resolution of this crisis. The House reverse to mandate the, Rel the House Committee on Public Safety and National Security, Army, Police and Def Defense to engage the executive arm of government towards finding means of ending this crisis. Channels Television wishes you a happy Easter celebration. I would like also to warn those miscreants to abandon that negative attitude and adopt a discernible means of livelihood because the party is over. I have what it takes to deal with any miscreant. My structures are now solidly on ground. My ambush squads are solidly on ground. They will see you, identify you, catch you wherever you may be. Uh, talking about Kenya's elections now, I mean.